Thank you for joining in and for today's video I'm just going to be testing out some watercolors here. These were some cheap watercolors that I found at my local um, dollar store and I was just curious to test out the quality here. <laughs> it says artist quality, brilliant colors, smooth finish, great for greeting cards, landscapes, crafting, hand lettering, portraits, and more. So we'll just have to see. <laughs> this out. Oh dear. It's stuck. Okay. So again, we have eight colors and some tubes here. in here. So there's just this little cardboard tray that it comes in. Little cardboard tray. We have crimson, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, brown, and black. So let's see here. Make it a little dish. I'm just going to put a little bit out of each color and then I'm going to test it out on my little journal over here. Whoop, that fell right on the floor. Okay, and these tops, you have to poke something to get them out. There's a little, little piece that you're going to poke to open it. Ooh. Wow, that like came flying out. Okay, so <laughs> definitely be careful. I barely even touched that. And it shot right out of the tube there. Okay, well that could be a quite messy. Uh, I'll have to clean that up later. Okay. So again, I just have to be careful opening these. Just a small little prick. Wow, there's... It just comes right out. Hmm. Well, other than the fact that it's a little bit messy, the colors look vibrant. And again, I'll fix them all up later. I just want to get a little bit of each color out. I don't think I've ever seen watercolors this messy. Okay, let's test out those three colors here. Um, let's see. You know, just because I don't know how these paints are, I'm going to use a cheap brush. Okay. Let's see. We're going to use a little bit of the crimson. do some swatches here. Well, these are super transparent. I just wanted to see, like we'll do one coat and then two coats. Let's see a little comparison there. <clears throat> just to see how well they layer. Oh wow, 
It's like you can barely see that yellow. It's almost coming off like a pastel, like a pastel yellow. Well, so far the red is the nicest. Let's see here. Better fence. So far, these are reminding me of the Crayola paints. If you have children or if you've ever played around with them, <clears throat> that's what the quality is reminding me of. They're just, they're very, very thin. Is pretty. They definitely don't blend that well. You can see <clears throat> right there. Let's see how well they reactivate. I'll go back to the red. Well, they do. Let's see, you can still see that harsh line. Yeah, these definitely don't blend that well. <clears throat> okay, let's try the the violet. Okay, and this one that's labeled brown is definitely like a yellow ochre. Yellow ochre, raw sienna. Like that. Let's 
it's a little bit more opaque. Hmm. Oh, between it's just a little something there. Um, yeah, between the yellow ochre and the red are probably the most color payoff. <clears throat> a little bit more opaque, not so like sheer like some of these up here. Let's see what the black looks like. Oh. Definitely need a better system than that. Reminds me of like when you buy super glue and then you have to stick the top in and then it gets all over the place. That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> okay. Well then. Let's squeeze it down here on the end. That's nice and dark. Hmm. Almost looks like acrylic paint. Let's see how well it... So there's the swatches. I'm going to do actually some more. I'm just digging for some more scrap here. I am going to pull out the Crayola set for a comparison because these are definitely um, they're nice paints if you have children or if you're just um, you're just doodling. Again, this is the Crayola set that I have. It's just the basic set of eight, but I just want to show the quality here. Just if anyone was curious, let's see, I'll do the red. No, well, that one's a little bit darker. This is like a red orange. But yeah, let's see how thin they are. <clears throat> yeah, they they are really similar. <clears throat> yeah, and that yellow. And we have the green. This blue is actually not that bad. <clears throat> and we have a purple. So that's super light. That almost looks like a pink, a lilac. A very, very light. And then there's just a little bit of brown in here. We'll squeeze in on the end. A little bit of brown. Okay, so let's see. The red is a tiny bit darker up here. The yellow, the yellow and the orange are pretty much the same. So is the green. This blue, this one's definitely brighter. The Crayola, this purple's darker. And then there is a black. <clears throat> and squeeze it up top here. Yeah, it's almost like a gray. Yeah, so the black was stronger and the, the art skills set. Hmm. Let's see how well they blend out. Oh, look at the, the Crayola ones definitely blend better. For these, you can still see, well, that's a little bit better, but you can still see the, the harsh line with the Crayola here, it's, that disappears right away. 
Now these are definitely easier to blend. Hmm. I'm just curious. There you go. So that's actually kind of pretty. The blue with the purple in there. <clears throat> we don't think that these are going to. So even mixing, mixing, mixing. Yeah. And I will show close-ups of everything as well. Uh, let's see. Now I'm actually going to do a little piece of artwork. Because sometimes you can't really tell even just from swatches. But we'll see. I'm going to do a little demonstration of a piece of artwork and see how it goes here. And then I'll come back with my um, final thoughts and review. Overall, I would have to say that the Cray Crayola um, paints here definitely perform a lot better than the, um, the Dollar General brand. And again, you know, I think they're roughly the same price, too. These are only about $3, and so are the Crayola, and they both have eight colors. But um, Again, if you have um, small children, these both should be fine, but the Crayolas are, you can see here, like I said before, a little bit brighter, a little bit easier to use than, um, than these colors here in the tubes. As well as, I can show how well the swatches, this is the Crayola that blended out really well versus our little patchy friend over here that see you can still see like the struggle and the harsh lines there and even like a little bit of mess here but the yellow ochre yeah the red and the or they call it this brown in the kit but it looks like a yellow ochre raw sienna those two are probably the best out of that one yeah and so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this fun review and comparison. Um, you can feel free to check out my other ones. I have lots of other reviews and comparisons. And um, yeah, be sure to subscribe, like the video, and stay tuned for more.